we are recording. Hello, people. Welcome back. We continue our recap, the recap of our glorious January. It has been glorious. Yes. So la last episode we talked about the forum leakage. Mm -hmm. And uh, other things that we've done in January, I think you should open, open with this one because it's quite glorious. Uh, which one do you mean? Ah, <laughs> uh, the uh, translation. Yes, so... Some time last year, I sent the letter to our local one of our local uh, web magazines that uh, does all things sci-fi. Although it's a little bit wider, the Estonian concept covers all speculative fiction. I, I sent them a letter and uh, pitched Seeker as a translation thing. And the last few months, I've been translating bits of Seeker for them. And yesterday, the first bit <laughs> went live. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a party blower, I'd be doing it right now. Yes. That's one of those moments. I am dramatically scrolling through the magazine right now. I can't understand a word of it, <laughs> but that's okay. Shall I, shall I share my screen with you now? Uh, yeah, can do. I checked it out yesterday, but like I said, I couldn't. I can't read Estonian. Yep. Ooh. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. I will. I will do the dramatic stroll again. We have a nice Cthulhu on the cover of the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing artwork. variety of things. They have like interviews and uh, world sci-fi news. And that was a very impressive, impressive beard. beard. We just take a moment for the beard appreciation. That was awesome. <laughs> and reviews for uh, for local things, game reviews. Oh, so they do anime as well. That's pretty cool. I think it. I think it. Uh, it varies from. From issue to issue. Oh, my mic was down. Uh, so. Oh, there you are. <laughs> drum roll. Ah! <laughs> 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 so there, um, among the story entries, there is our little humble creature. <laughs> <laughs> it looks smaller in, in the magazine. <laughs> so this is the first four chapters, I think, is part one. Part two will be five, six, seven. Oh, it's so good. So there you go. I will, sh I will stop screen sharing now so that I will get our picture back. Bam. So Welcome there back. We go. Yes. <laughs> so that's one amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Um oh god there's been a few, isn't there? <laughs> um We've been busy this January, yo <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah. Which I mean, <coughs> uh, after the Christmas lull, it was kind of hard to get back into it. But mm -hmm. actually, looking back, we have done quite a lot, considering. We've, we've done like a shitload. Yeah. You've done the website. You've done the translation. I've I've tried getting into myself. Tried writing two thousand words a day, and it's going well. Um, sometimes I'm sort of cheating a little bit. Sometimes I can't write. Mm -hmm. And I go and do research instead, and come up with like 500 words worth of notes, mm -hmm. and and then I I sit and let those ferment for a little bit. So mm -hmm. that's that, that's what I've been doing. I think I've been doing quite well. I've written about I don't know 10,000 words in the last week, seven days, let's mm. say. So doing doing well, getting there. Do I want to talk about those projects? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe. 
Maybe I think, later. Yeah, oh. let's let's talk about it later. You can have your own your own episode for those. Yeah, I was actually thinking of uh, when I next come to do like writing on Harbour City or Outrunners to fire up the video and be like, "Yo, here's how I work. This is mm -hmm. my work process." Mm -hmm. um, but again, <laughs> it's working up the courage. We were talking about this before the, the video. I'm afraid that if I hit record, I'm going to be sitting there staring at a blank page for an hour, and nothing's mm -hmm. going to get written. But we'll see. <laughs> I'll have to practice. Oh, I'll have to. I'll have to try and see what happens. And if I am just staring at a page for an hour, then <laughs> so be it. That is apparently my process. Uh... I also went to a game jam. So uh, the global game jam 2018 local event. It was. It, it, I think you should tell us all about it. I saw some. I saw some posts on Twitter, and it was like, "Oh my god, this sounds amazing!" And we haven't actually spoken about it since you got back, because we were saving it for this video. Yeah. So this is all new to me as well. So it was last weekend, from Friday evening to Sunday evening. Uh, I was pretty tired after it, and also I had cold the whole time, so uh, my brain was like. <laughs> Um, I will I will show my screen again. I mean, I I will share my screen again, and I will <laughs> I will show you what we produced. All right, cool. Uh, share screen. Yes. Wrong. Oh, this is not wrong. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. It was running before. Oh, I could have run it windowed, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is this is what we made. <laughs> <laughs> I can't... I think some of the screen is missing because of my video. Oh, there we go. I can... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically... Uh, thing is that when you when you go to a game jam there then there are certain skills are the sexy skills you have if you're a programmer you're high in demand if you're an artist you're probably high in demand sound guys are so high in demand that they are pro they are often shared between uh, or i mean composers uh, will be shared between teams uh, however if you are a measly writer then <laughs> You, do, you don't have too many options. So basically what I did was uh, I pitched a concept, I rallied up a team and we, we made the effort to, uh, to make a game about ant colony. <laughs> so what you, what you see here is uh, one of the game components that we managed to finish and get running. So we we didn't we didn't finish the project that we that we wanted to finish, but uh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let them keep spawning because something something uh, fun is gonna happen soon. <laughs> so so anyway yeah, uh, I I pitched my idea about uh, about an ant hill, and ants and objects around the hill that the ants will find and then they will have to signal to each other that yo people we have something here let's react and uh, and I I found two uh, beginner level programmers who who were very enthusiastic so together we we had we had an awesome team that's that's one huge success uh, we uh, I would say we understood each other pretty well and uh, and we sort of shared the passion <laughs> for the thing. <laughs> However, we didn't have the combined skill level uh, to pull it off. Ah, behold! Oh. <laughs> I 
awesome. <laughs> oh, that's very visually pleasing. Yeah. So, uh, in the hindsight, I would say that I should have probably spent an extra hour uh, looking into the available programs because there would have maybe been some drag and drop options or free programs that we that we may be might have been able to work with better but uh, one of the one of the game maker programs that we tried uh, the free version wouldn't let us do what we what we needed to do so uh, we went with uh, doing our stuff in unity which was available and which had a lot of advice on site so that's uh, that 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 was the plus <laughs> and uh, way into the second day uh, like here here's the thing uh, as a copywriter and and writing scripts for uh, for courses and uh, and uh, and cartoons I'm usually working like I, I'm relying on other people uh, materializing whatever I uh, I am able to conjure up so I'm like oh yeah let's uh, let's uh, let's put a timer on this and let's let's spawn them here and on this trigger let's let's uh, let's make them do this and uh, and one of the program looks at me and smiles and says I'm about to but I haven't figured out how <laughs> 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 so oh. so basically he uh he picked up all the uh, i think it was uh, c sharp that he used for uh, for the programming so basically all the uh all the coding that was required to achieve this that you saw uh, he picked them up during the the jam oh that's excellent <laughs> so so in in that sense uh, it was like the the jump the leap was huge that we made we didn't quite uh, uh, we didn't quite land where everybody else landed <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, but the process was awesome so it's yeah. like if if our if our uh, game was a car you would have a chassis and a few wheels sort of randomly moving about the landscape and you you can sometimes poke it with a stick and 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 maybe may make it uh change direction so that's it <laughs> but the yeah the awesome thing was that uh after the after after stuff was uh put to the site put up to the site which i have not looked up right now so i'm not going to show it on screen uh after that uh, when the presentations were over and the ceremonies were over, uh, we uh, we checked uh, the the comments on the. I, I mean, everybody on everybody who took part of the jam uh, were also the the judges. So we played through each other's games and and we uh, we scored them and uh, and commented. And the, the fun thing was that. The, the comments were actually very friendly <laughs> so <laughs> so of course there like there there were there were criticism which were completely valid so some somebody had written uh i don't see much of a game here right now it is more like an interactive uh, screensaver which it which is completely true and at the same time we got like huge ins huge encouragements from uh, I, I think at least twelve people had said like, "Don't give up, keep trying." Yeah. Oh, nice collision physics <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, <laughs> and awesome. and in the end, so of course, uh, score wise, we 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 didn't have much, but there was one more line I in the scoreboard or in the uh, in the final tally. There was uh, one more line below us the team that quit <laughs> <coughs> and uh, and I would say that uh, while while we we didn't bring home a big score we ended up being pretty memorable <laughs> so I am going to give you a link to our presentation uh, I, I don't know how how publicly I can share it because it's unlisted but I can, I can give it to you 
It sounds like you had an awesome time. And there was a there was a Twitter connection moment. Yeah. As well. There was a Twitter connection moment uh, during the testing. Uh, one girl came up to me and was like, "Hey, are 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 you are you who I think you are?" I'm like, yeah, I'm that. <laughs> yeah, we follow each other on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it turned out that she was actually in the team that worked uh, next to ours. Oh, cool! Yeah. Uh, some somehow uh, I I sort of had hypothesized of the option to run into somebody I know from Twitter on the jam. I don't know why I I had this fantasy, but it it actually happened. So well, there, there, you, there go. you have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it sounds like you had an awesome time. And uh, it's cool to hear that the the program has learned quite a significant mm-hmm. amount from the sounds of it as well. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I uh I I I intend to. Oh, and uh, after the event was over, I gave both my team teammates a copy of Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have a book? <laughs> 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 so yeah, I gave them the uh, uh, the friends copy or the friends PDF to read, and uh, uh, once I have gotten this week's work stuff out of the way, I, I actually intend to keep in contact with them and ask if maybe we can we can keep on working and make our ant thingy ant colony a a proper mini game <laughs> because That'd the be cool. yeah the idea was that uh, you have a terrarium of ants it's it's supposed to be a, a side view but right now we didn't have any uh, any pictures to indicate what's happening so you're you're having a terrarium that's open from the top and the more ants you you get in there the more they explore the area and uh, uh, the idea was that uh, when they get to the top they get out or in other words they disappear uh, in the program that runs this this part was supposed to work but some of the coordinates in the code were wrong so actually the disappearance points are all over the board not on top so the, di- the ants disappear in random spots <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, the attack of the fifth dimension, but uh, but yeah, uh, you're supposed to you're supposed to feed them to to make the colony grow, and that and at the same time you're supposed to watch out that they don't uh, get to the top. So at some point you're supposed to apply powder to keep them inside, uh, and also the 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 mantis thing was uh, was that if the Population gets too big, you can uh, release a mantis in the <laughs> in the box who uh, who slows down the growth basically. So all all this uh, all all these uh, ideas are based on actual ant colony keeping uh, tips. So the the main mechanics would have been based on uh, on actual ant keeping, <laughs> based on reality basically. <laughs> no. <Nice. laughs> yeah. <coughs> so I'd that th- that was that was my game jam. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And uh it, it turns out that uh, this uh, math institute or IT institute is uh is organizing smaller jams pretty regularly. So I I actually might go to another one in in April. And uh, one of the options during the game jam, like if you don't have the sexy programming skills, uh, one of the options is to use some storytelling uh, tools where you have like, uh, I think the choose your own adventure kind of, uh, or branching narrative thing. So I I might try this out next time, although uh, I write shit up like, on a daily basis so <laughs> so <laughs> when it comes to game creation I actually do want to do other stuff <laughs> mm. <coughs> Game that game salad is really easy to use 
Mm. And you get a free four. I think you can get like a free four day trial. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe next time across the weekend, check that out. Yeah, ga games. Uh, I didn't know about game sellers free version, but after I game, after I got home, uh, I found one bit that might have worked for us. Let's see. I don't remember what it's called, but I bookmarked it. There's so many out there now, it's just r ridiculous to try and keep track of them all. Yeah, uh, the, the the thing wasn't about uh, not uh, not not having access to stuff, just uh, just that some some of the programs were provided by the event, so it was like uh, at at first we didn't even think about using anything else. Mm. Uh, and one of the other teams who were uh, initially working on a similar idea as us, uh, I in the end they made a very cool little game where you control a life in aqua aquarium by turning on the lights and turning on music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, their head designer suggested that we use something simpler initially. And so we initially we, we did plan to use a, a, a different program, but once we learned that uh, that we couldn't use the full version and uh, and the jam didn't provide that one, we sort of maybe maybe we should so in hindsight we we, we should have looked for more options for simpler programs, but with it, with with each program the learning curve would have still been there yeah. so it wasn't it wasn't the case of oh we know what we want to do we know what skills we need to we know the exact uh, moves we need to uh, perform to achieve that so let's perform those moves instead it was we know what we want to achieve uh, we have some idea what some of these tools can do so let's try to find out if they let us do that. Mm. So and and also once you're on site already, uh, it's it's always easier to speculate afterwards. <laughs> it's it's like uh, it's like watching a let's play when you are not on the controls, when you are not uh, homed in on what's happening and trying to you know walk and talk at the same time. Then it's very easy to see like oh that puzzle piece is over there or, <laughs> oh you have to do that that's obvious but when you're inside the situation your uh, uh, personal organic processing power is limited so you might not be aware of all of the, all of your options but yeah it was uh, it it was awesome and i, I think uh, we managed to make a stronger Im in the end i think we managed to make a stronger impression than some prototypes that actually did deliver a functional thing but uh, but it wasn't uh, maybe as lucrative so it's like sure we ov we we definitely overshot uh, like we we definitely bit off more than uh, we could uh, we could deliver but we did so uh, in a friendly and graceful manner. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And uh, and did I did I say that our team was awesome? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's very cool. I don't know if they they probably do game jams in the UK. I might have to go check one out. You have inspired uh, me. Let's see. Uh, I will. I will dig out the links afterwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I forgot to prepare to put the open the site uh, here. Yeah. I will. I would have to go through several chats to grab the links that. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna litter my screen. So but, good. But afterwards, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put them there so yeah that that was that's that's how i went to game jam game jam massive success <laughs> awesome people twitter moments yeah. oh man perfect 
Yeah, and uh, on Sunday they gave us ice cream for breakfast. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and we, uh, uh, since most uh, most people were from from here, uh, most people also went jo- went home for a night. So for Friday night, I actually came home and had a good old uh, sleep in my own bed. But for Saturday night, we stayed on site. And uh, and we camped in the uh, in the campus. <laughs> Excellent. So that was a little team building moment there. <laughs> <laughs> Proper adventure, it sounds. Yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so basically, our teams, uh, uh, our teams uh, thing reads like the first episode in some epic adventure it's the the team of underdogs <laughs> who uh, try to achieve great things and at first they very spec- spectacularly uh, well well we didn't flop we just we just didn't finish only a little little bit so I, I I can't I can't say it's a failure story because we didn't actually fail we just succeeded a tiny bit <laughs> so so yeah it's like uh, it's like uh, I can't even think of a good example right now but, it's but more yeah. like your, su- your success came from other places like you, you the experience was the success yeah yeah, yeah yeah so yeah it makes for a good story is what I, mm. is what I say this is going to be inspiration for like <laughs> a, f- a future novel on the Chaos Nova roster. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and another thing uh, regarding the um, presentations is that uh, any schmuck can successfully present a a sh- a shiny project, but uh, but to successfully uh, present a not so a tiny and not so shiny project. Now that takes balls <laughs> and that takes skill. <laughs> so, so I, I would I would like to think that uh, we really aced the presentation. <laughs> You nice. can you can you can uh, watch, you can watch yeah. the video later. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> okay, oh I think well. I think I have time. I have waffled on long enough. <laughs> Anything else we have to add about uh, January achievements? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. There's probably a load of stuff that we've forgotten. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I got nothing. I think we did. Yeah. There's a there's a list of stuff here, uh, and uh, nothing on it is any use ah. to us right now. So I will forget that. Ignore anything I just said. Continue. <laughs> yes. Uh, so read read our uh, story samples from the shiny new website. Mm-hmm. Sign up to your local game jams. Take take a risk. Uh, do a challenge. <laughs> and I think this is a good uh, note to stop on. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye bye.